Okay, uh, the last one is custom point cloud distribution arm, and when you activate it by default, as you can see, there are no fragmentation. Uh, so let me move this box aside. First of all, it allows you to use Max Script to define your own point clouds, and uh, I will show you how to do this in another tutorial. Uh, but the most important feature is that it allows you to use any of the previous point clouds uh, together. Like I can go to the box mode, Let's set here 200, so I can decrease this point cloud. Let's see it, here it is. So here's my box point cloud distribution type. I can position it, let's say here, and then I can uh, right click to this box and click here convert to custom. And after that, it will jump to this custom mode. And right now, there is no box. Well, I mean, I can uh, move this box, but it's not bounding box anymore. Uh, but it allows me in this mode, it allows me to go to this custom points uh, sub object mode, and here I can select every point and move it separately just like I want them. Like I can move this point here and this one here, and this way I can define any point cloud I want and adjust it. So the same I can do for this radial type. Right click, click convert to custom. And uh, again go to this custom points mode. Select points, starting move them around, rotating them, scaling them. So this close this mode allows uh, you to create any point cloud you want. Also, uh, let's go to this radial type and uh, right click reset gizmo decrease radius and uh, let's decrease actually count decrease, decrease radius even more and uh, decrease divergence so in this mode you can create just one this radial point cloud type uh, but using custom mode, you can not only uh, convert it to custom, but you can append them into custom. So you can position this one here, right click, click here. Uh, let's actually first of all go to this custom point cloud and reset it, the little points. Now I go back to this radial. So right now, right clicking here, instead of clicking convert to custom, you can click here append to custom. And as you can see, uh, it doesn't change point cloud type to custom one. So now you can move this radial uh, gizmo, let's say at the center here. Right click again, click here, open, move it here. Right click again and click open. So if you will go to this custom mode now, you will see that there are all your point clouds which you opened. And again, Clicking to custom points, you can select all of them and move as you want. And the same works for any other, like you can go to the cylinder, this box, let's say box one, again take the same box, 
let's remove it here. Right click, open to custom, go to custom mode, and here we'll see your radial types and uh, the points from the geometry. So you can move it here, go to object mode, open to custom, go to custom, and there will be all these points. And using this custom point cloud, Sovochic mode, you can select them and as I said, move them just as you want. Also there are some buttons here which allow them to select all the points, none of them, and if you want to select, let's say, all the others, but not this one, you can invert selection. Also there is a filtered and unfiltered check uh, buttons. But I will talk more about point filters in the next tutorial. And uh, for now, I guess that's enough with point cloud tabs. And thank you for watching.